Good afternoon, Vikes. We saw what the golf team goals are for this season. And more information about Afterglow. I'm Kara. And I'm Madison. Your news starts now. There is a parent afterglow meeting tonight at 7 in the East Commons. Today is the deadline for AP students to pay and schedule for AP exams. The deadline to enroll ACT prep classes and turn in your seat is this Friday. Make sure you turn in your seat to the teachers holding the practice sessions. All current seniors without discipline points during their senior year are eligible to speak at Seaman High School commencement. Make sure you look at the Class of 2018 announcements for more information. Tomorrow is the deadline to withdraw from any Washburn CEP classes. Driver's Ed enrollment starts April 2nd. See the school webpage for more information. Students wishing to bring an outside date to prom, please pick up a form from Mrs. Varner in the office. Deadline for forms is April 10th. Afterglow tickets will be sold for $10 before school and at lunch from April 3rd through the 6th. Now let's go over to Madison with the sports. April 4th, Seaman High School will be holding a blood drive in the multi-purpose room from 9.30 to 2 o'clock p.m. Book your appointment at esavealife.org. Get a permission form for Mr. Riley at W17 and turn it in by Monday. Must be at least 16 to donate. Donate now! Well, off to class. You can't go yet. You have to fix this terrible parking job. Oh, gee. Thanks. Forget about the parking, just go on to class. You don't want to be late. But the person next to you isn't going to be able to park. Who cares? He's going to be late to class. You know what? I should fix it. You gotta do the right thing. See ya, devil. Go! Be courteous to other students. Park in your assigned spot. Be a Viking. Kara caught up with some golf team members to talk about their upcoming season. There are great expectations for this year's golf team. There were a lot of newcomers with bright futures noticed by the other players and coach. We'll have five new varsity players this year, so lost a lot from last year, a few college golfers, so uh, we're going to have to restock for sure. I think we have seven newcomers this year. We've got uh, five freshmen out and two upperclassmen that haven't been out before. You know, I see a lot of improvement already. You've only been couple weeks practice, so uh, by mid-season, hopefully in, get it all put together and have another shot at going to state. The coaches have high expectations for the varsity team. He wants junior varsity to work just as hard so they could earn a varsity spot. Uh, expectations uh, for the varsity is to go out and compete in every meet. Uh, we have a few kids that hopefully can get some varsity medals. Uh, JV-wise, hopefully go out to the meets and improve every single time we step out on the golf course to bump them up to that varsity level for years to come. As a team, there's lots of competition. Uh, I think we have a good mix of guys that want to beat uh, each other, and that competition at practice is definitely fuels uh, improvements. The team shows lots of hard work and dedication. Make sure to come out and support the team when they have a meet. Make sure you come and support the golf team this season. Good luck to the girls swim team, track team, and the boys golf team that is competing today. Dance team tryouts will be Saturday, April 7th, beginning at 9 a.m. in the multi-purpose room. Tryout information and forms can be found at their website. Now over to Kara with the weather. What's going on, Vikes? 
It is currently 46 degrees and tonight it will actually get a little warmer with a little less cloud cover. And now for your three day forecast, you have highs in the 60s and 50s and lows in the 40s and 20s and it's going to get colder so you better bundle up. And today in history is Scott Wilson's birthday and it's National Vietnam Veterans Day. Now let's head back over to your anchors. Make sure you come out and support the athletes who are competing today. Have a great rest of your day.